Hey guys, today's Saturday. I just realized that my dishwasher stopped working. Looking a little bit closer, here's the issue. The main issue is this normal light is flashing. That means that there's some sort of issue with a detected water leak or there's water that's pooling. And there's different reasons why that could happen. Lift it up. There we go. Now for this one. Okay, so you didn't see this, but earlier, this thing was full of water. But I took a mop and I took it out, drained out all the water just so I could take a better look at things. So, first thing I want to check if the main drain is like clogged with food or things. So that's this thing right here. So if you look at it, it's looking pretty clean. That's because I actually already cleaned it out. Alright, so the next, next piece of interest is this little thing right here. This is some sort of a float switch that activates the pump. So basically what happens is when this area right here is full of water, this pump switch uh, floats up and that turns it on. And in theory, if there's water in here, it should be drained out through there. So here it goes. Pour some water in here. Pull that switch up. It should turn on the pump. Sounds like there's electricity going to the uh, the impeller inside, but it doesn't sound like water is flowing. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dishwasher out of the uh, counter area, turn off the power, and see if I can figure out what's what. If I don't take this water out, it's going to spill the floor, make a big mess, and I really prefer not to have to clean extra mess. Here's the cool part. Almost makes mopping fun. Almost. Okay, the next step and a very important one is to make sure you turn off the electricity to the dishwasher if you're going to take it apart or work on it. You don't need to be electrocuted. Ah, perfect. So, right here, see that says dish? That's a dishwasher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off. And just confirming, see the the normal light is no longer flashing. If I push the power button and all that, it's not making any sounds. So the electricity is effectively cut off from the dishwasher. That means it's now safe to take it apart. Well, safer. I've got these screws underneath that are connecting the dishwasher itself to the counter, just so it doesn't like slide out and roll away. So step one will be removing these things. Phillips head screwdriver. So I thought these countertops were granite, and they are. But underneath they have a, a layer of what looks like some sort of melamine or particle board. What that means is you could screw things underneath the, uh, the countertop, and I guess that's how they attach them to, to the cabinets. I thought it was just solid stone, but I guess not. Ta-da! We've got motion. There is a possibility where if I take this thing out, flip it on its side, a bunch of water's gonna spill out everywhere and make a big, a rather large mess. So what I'll probably do is grab some towels and lay them out around. I've got my trusty mop just in case. Before I actually flip it over, I'm gonna take a look at the hosing, the tubing to see if there's any actual water leaking out. Okay, so this right here, oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay, so this tubing right here, that feeds into the dishwasher, and that is where uh, the water is supposed to drain out. So if there was a leak, I would expect to see a bunch of water like anywhere nearby it, especially since I poured some water inside the dishwasher to try to simulate it being full. I don't see any sort of uh, water pooling and the tubing itself feels dry. So based on the, the sound of that humming that we heard, when I turned on the, uh, the float switch, there's a good chance that the issue is something underneath here and something that has to do with the, uh, the impeller. 
There's a little thing that spins around and forces the water out of the dishwasher and through this tube. All right, guys, so well, that's awkward. So not too sure if there's a proper way to do this. I'm just gonna tilt the thing over and see what happens. Next, we need to remove this plastic pan and find the impeller, which I believe is located around this area right here. Okay, so it looks like there's these little tabs located around the, the side edge of the, uh, the dishwasher. Looks like if I push them down and wiggle the pan, it should snap out. Nothing like good old brute force. Hopefully I didn't break it. So the reason why the reason why that was so difficult is because there's a screw. There's that screw that I need to remove. Once I take that thing out, the whole plastic drip pan should be able to come free. Okay, so I got that screw taken out, so this plastic pan should pop right out. Should. <laughs> Who knows if it will. Hey, and it did. Amazing. Well, if you've never seen the inside of a dishwasher, it's a little bit more complicated than what it might seem. This must just be the, uh, the drain tubing. So looking at it, it doesn't feel wet. It doesn't feel like it's actually leaking. And looking in the drip pan itself, while well, it's kind of gross, looks like there's some dead ants or bugs or something. It seems like it's basically fine. I think the way this works is uh, it's got two middle prongs right here. I think if this drip pan gets filled with water, it completes the circuit between these two metal prongs and that's what trips up the, uh, the device and makes it think that the whole thing is flooding. And uh, what I think originally happened with mine is that I think the dishwasher itself wasn't draining out so there was excess water that went in here and tripped that sensor. But I think the root cause of the issue is actually the impeller. I think this is where the water flows into and I think this right here is where the actual impeller is located this right here. So first thing I'll do is I'll disconnect the power from it. I think this is where I'm going to need to detach it from. Let's see if we can just rotate it. Oh lovely. Oh snap. Check this out. It looks like there's a little, little white plastic piece of I'm not sure what that's right next to the impeller. And I'll bet you anything that's the thing that was jamming it up. Typically with a motor if you hear it humming, that means there's electricity going to it. But if you don't actually hear it turning, that means that there's something that's jamming it. And in this situation, I think that's exactly what the issue was. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean out this thing. It looks like there's pieces of food and some pretty gross stuff in there. But I'm going to clean that out and screw it back in there, and I'll bet you this thing will start working again. All right, so cleaned it out and dried it off. It looks like it's able to spin just fine. One thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that all these little tabs are engaged. There's a little tiny button right here. You could push that down and when you push that down, it allows you to turn this. And you know you've seated it properly because when you turn it, you should hear a little snap. Hear that? So now it doesn't wiggle around, it doesn't pull free. Okay, so now that we got the uh, dishwasher put back together, let's turn on the circuit breaker. Okay, so I got everything reassembled. Everything is screwed in. Okay, so I got the dishes loaded up. Got my soap loaded in. Okay, so powered on. The normal light is just lit up, it's not flashing. Heavy. Express. Alright, so the buttons are working normally. So we push it to normal. Start. Ha! Ah. Hear that? We hear the hum. We hear water flowing. It's working. It's doing stuff. Alright, looks like we got it fixed. The main issue was it's a piece of plastic blocking the impeller. 
I don't know what it was, but here it is. After removing that and uh, reattaching everything, it seems like it's working just fine. So, cool. Thanks for watching.